What is up guys, Apathy back in the blend today and we finally have another video. It's been about three months, so to speak. I would say about three months. It's been a while, man. I missed you guys and you know, I apologize for not uploading. You know, I, I have no excuse. The biggest excuse I have is I was tired of losing. I was tired of doing bad and I wanted to shift and focus everything on competitive COD and just put all my time or most of my time into that. So that's why I really wasn't uploading. Plus, Infinite Warfare just wasn't a fun game to upload or really post anything. So that was, those are the two biggest reasons. And you know, I missed you guys. It's been a while. But I'm finally back. And today, I'm going to be talking about really important stuff that I've been wanting to talk about pretty much before Anaheim. Or I wanted to post an Anaheim post, but I didn't. A post vlog. I wanted to talk about Season 2 playoffs. And of course, Champs was just this weekend. And I want to talk about that. So in this video, I'm sort of going to be talking about everything. Just, just everything. You know, just packed into one now, i'm gonna try my best not to take too much of your time and the reason i'm recording right now on a webcam instead of my actual camera is because i don't know what happened with the battery it's like damaged or something so the quality isn't going to be the best but i will try my best so i'll be talking about little parts throughout what just happened these past i would say about three months or so a lot has happened a lot has changed or not really team wise but a lot did change and we got t6 of dallas we're going to season our weekend season one league uh, we got first in our group, you know, we're, we're confident, you know, we're feeling good that we got that. And then we go to playoffs. We lost to LG 3-1. First, two, we won the first map. Second map was pretty close, but, you know, they were just a really good team and they beat us. Then we played Optic for top six and Optic obviously one of the best teams. They beat us. So we got the last place basically at playoffs. We were all devastated. We all hated it, you know, on top of us placing pretty average all year. It was just like, uh, what are we doing still teaming together kind of thing, you know, like it's obviously not working. Uh, we don't know what to do anymore like something has to change so after season one playoffs teams are sort of trying to be formed you know but after lg getting second place splice winning uh i feel like teams kind of decided to stick for the most part and before anaheim i was actually i might or someone on our team was probably going to leave but we all decided to stick together we're like it's probably for our best interest you know things are going to work out we did change things a bit we had cap running basically the main sub i was main i was like main like main k bar i mean just little things we were changing around because nothing was working so we we're like we gotta fix we gotta change something like i was just i don't know i don't want to run this sub anymore i was like just let me run a k bar i don't know we were just trying to move things around i was trying to change my things around because i just felt like we're, just, we're not getting better so we go to anaheim going to anaheim our expectations were probably obviously we wanted to win but i mean it felt like we weren't a team like there was no team chemistry there was no no faith there was no it felt like we were just a pickup team sort of thing like it was one of the worst feelings i've had going with a team and we basically sat we basically threw that event away like we sabotaged each other like if there was any way to explain it we threw that event away yeah we got t24 and you know it, we probably could have got maybe t12 t8 but regardless we were probably still going to do bad at the event we just we just weren't there we weren't there as a team and individually like we just didn't perform well either so after anaheim a lot of teams were trying to make changes including our team we wanted a change uh probably a lot of you guys know that you know things just weren't working out we obviously were really unhappy with each other you know all of us like we basically all hate each other like now i would say hate hate's a very strong word but we disliked each other in a way and we didn't really want to team with each other anymore that's what happens when we team for so long and on top of us team for so long we just weren't doing good we weren't progressing we, were, we weren't having results so you know sometimes a change is needed and we we were about to make a change and things were about to change but FaZe ended up picking up Gunless and sort of like, and it, it all happened last minute. Like that was the biggest thing. So we weren't able to really make a change. No other teams weren't really able to make a change. So in the end of everything, you know, we tried, we tried, we tried, you know, we tried making a change with, whether it was Slashroom going to another team, whether it was JCAP going to another team, whether it was I was going to another team, whether it was John was going to another team. We tried so hard to make a change. And in the end, it was mainly Gunless. He was the number one pick. Everyone wanted Gunless as soon as he was picked. Uh, sort of a lot of things fell through, especially because it was all done last minute. So we were left with each other and, you know, uh, it was tough. Like we knew deep down that we we have potential, but was it going to work? Like we, we, we've we been doing so average or bad all year. It's like, was it going to work? So going to season two, uh, we obviously had one of the hardest pull. We had Epsilon, C9 and Optic. Uh, gra C9 just placed top. I think they got third or fourth now they got fourth at anaheim uh epsilon got third off they got i think fourth uh you can correct me if i'm wrong but even even off i mean optic were obviously going to get better i mean they're a top team top caliber team always have been always will be so we had probably the hardest pull uh next to like rise phase i forgot the other pool there was a 
it was another pool that was pretty hard. But I think if our, if all the teams came to play, we had probably the hardest pool from all of them. And we knew it was going to be tough. Like, it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. We had to grind our ass off. We all had to improve as a team and individually. So I started grinding my ass off. I started playing a lot more. You know, no more excuses about my hand hurting, about, about you know, just too tired. Whatever the case is, no more excuses for me. You know, I stuck, uh, I just worked it out, you know, tried my best to keep my hand in shape as I play, you know, put in the more time, you know, try to, you know, stop going to the gym, stop uploading, stop streaming, play more eights. You know, I, it was just no more excuses. I was tired of underperforming. I was tired of, you know, just the shit placings, and it was just no more excuses for me. Uh, we all started playing more as well. And then on top of that, we boot camped uh, like a week or two later. We boot camped 10 days before our weekend. And we put in a lot of time. I mean, we when we were boot camping, you know, we're constantly fixing our mistakes. You know, we're, we're, we're changing our start offs to make better start offs. We went over search. We practiced search. Uh, we were just improving so many little things. Everything my team told me, you know, I was making some mistakes. I was doing something wrong here. I was doing something wrong there. I took it in. You know, I was gradually just, I was continually trying to get better and keep practicing and trying to get better and trying to get better, you know, individually and as a team, you know, we were trying to get better as well. And we just put in so much time, a lot of hard work. It wasn't necessarily like, you know, it's all about grinding smart, not hard. Like that's the, the biggest thing. Like when we were grinding, you know, we're putting it when we're scrimming a hundred percent effort, you know, when we start to bitch and when we start to like lose full, we try to like regain and be like, come on, let's go, man. We got to practice, you know, like we took it more serious. And I think that's the number one thing. We just grinded. We grinded hard, but are uh, just really a lot smarter than we usually what we do. And we just didn't slack. And, you know, going into our week, we got second place, uh, second in our group. We almost beat Optic the first best of five, unfortunately. I think we went last map. Might have been last map. We won the, like, the two hard points. But, uh, you know, just they, got, they had us in S&D. But we, we still got second in our group. We beat C9 and Epsilon every single time. Uh, we were looking really strong. So going into Season 2, we decided to stay at Columbus. It was a, a week stay. We get to scrim Optic here and there. You know, that's a good thing. And we just get to have land practice. And we don't really have to worry about traveling back and then traveling. And then a couple days come back. Like, it would have been kind of dumb for us to leave. So we are like, we kind of hated it. You know, it was boring. It was There was nothing to do. We scrim Optic for like two hours. And we didn't even scrim like Monday. So we just scrim like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for like two hours. But it was so good to, to just, it was just good in general for us and as a team, you know, build chemistry as well. You know, we we hung out a lot. We had some fun, watched some movies or like watch a couple movies. So it was nice overall. You know, I think it was just good to bond as a team and kind of build our chemistry. But going to season two playoffs, uh, we had high expectations. We obviously been playing better. We knew our search was our biggest thing. We were like, all right, our respawn looked pretty good last weekend. We need to improve our search. We talked a little bit about search, you know, what we should do, what we need to do better. And I mean, during our week, we fixed it a bit, but going to season two, so that was like our main focus. And we were winning searches, like we were doing really good searches, but out of nowhere, you know, we just started doing bad in respawns. Austin had a really hell of event, you know, Slasher was playing phenomenal, like pretty much all event. He's, he was doing amazing in respawn, he was doing amazing in S&D. And we were just all doing good, pretty good S&D, but respawn, us, us other three were slacking. Uh, we picked it up definitely a lot uh, the last day on sunday but uh slasher did have an amazing event he played really good and we 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 just snd was definitely our bread and butter that was a big reason so sort of flipped you know we we're doing really good respawn and then search and destroy was kind of our main thing and i think the biggest thing was just consistency and slaying power uh when it came to top caliber teams like top three top four teams uh we struggle sometimes you know we're just not performing we're not getting those kills and it hurts us and respawn and obviously we with those negative kds and you're not slaying in a game like infinite warfare it's not going to pan out good. You're probably going to lose those maps. But we did clutch up and search, and we did came up, you know, on top when we needed to. And we we were man we managed to pull some respawns away, you know, some crazy respawn maps. But we ended up getting second in an event. You know, we went to winner's finals. We went to grand finals. Optic had to beat us in two best of fives. Uh, they were just a better team, that event. You know, uh, it, it was kind of miraculously somehow, like, how we got to second place, how we got to grand finals through winner's. Um, this is crazy kind of how everything panned out where we should have probably, you know, maybe not even made it there, but you know, we just had heart, we had determination, we were I had we all had the fire to win this event. And you make it to two best of fives, you know, at that point you're like, come on, we can do this, we shouldn't lose. And then Optic beat us, but Optic man, the 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 games are really close. Like some of the games are extremely close, especially the respawns. If we just, we could have won the breakout. We could have won the first best of five series 100%. Like, that was our series to win. 
And the second best of five should have gone to game five, at least if we won that uplink frost that we choked. Uh, but it should have. That we really, I really felt like you guys understand. I really felt like that was my event to win, and that was like our event to win. And we just came up short. We just choked under pressure, or we just didn't get the kills that mattered the last second. It was like extremely close in some of the maps that could have just changed the whole tide, and we probably would have won the first series, maybe one game five second series. But we should have definitely won the two hard points first series, and we won the uplink. I'm pretty sure. So we would have won like three one. But uh, optic, you know, it's a, a hell of a team. Um, talented extremely talented players and they beat us two best of fives and after we lost that you know i was extremely heartbroken i i felt i felt devastated you know choking like that like there's a difference between getting like pummeled like if they would have just three old us like 50 point club six old 50 point club then then three old us again 50 like like destroyed us then it's different it doesn't hit you as hard because you know you just got destroyed you're like well we didn't, we didn't even deserve to win like they were obviously the better team by 100 like 100 times but when you play such a close game and, you know, it's so close and you know you could have won the event and you know if you just played that one play better or got that one extra kill, you probably would have won. That's where it starts to haunt you and that's where it really starts to hurt you, knowing that you had it, the grasp of your hands and you just choke it. That's where it just, it's it really, it's just heartbreaking. So after that performance, after we got second, I went back home, Cap went back home, Slasher and John went back to the condos. I went back home just because, you know, I haven't seen my wife in about a month and obviously I missed her. She missed me a lot. So I wasn't going to like go to champs also and like just stay at the condos for another like two weeks. It, it just would have been, you know, it just it would have been right. So I went back home. We scrimmed for about a week at home, you know, went over little things, you know, try to improve what we can, you know, fix those little things. But going to champs, we had an easy group uh, for the most part. Obviously, you know, I, I W any team could win. Anything could happen. But we had like the easier group. So we knew it was going to be pretty easy getting out of group. So going to the winning bracket, we played Epsilon for top 12. Uh, we lost the first map, then we won the next three. They're obviously a pretty good team, and we've played them before recently. So we knew that, you know, we just felt confident going to that match. Then we had to play Ghost Gaming for top six. Uh, obviously, Ghost Gaming had made it that far, so we weren't going to underestimate them. And they're a good team. They're more of a tactical team. You know, I was watching some of the VODs, and some of the people told me they like to use smokes. They like to use a lot of clusters. So, we you know, we just kind of try to counter that, and we won 3-0. The last map was pretty close, but, you know, we won 3-0. And then we're top six, and we had to play EU United for top three. Last time we played EU United, it was pretty fairly easy. We won 3-0, but we knew this time was going to be a lot harder just because, you know, they weren't going to take a slight lead this time. They were determined, you know, this is champs. Everyone comes out to play. So we lost the first map pretty bad, but we bounced back in the search, won the search, and then it was 1-1. We went to Precinct on Blink, which a lot of you guys probably remember. We made the craziest comeback down basically 10-0 in the half and came back and spawn trapped them. Just got our streaks and won. Uh, it was just one of the craziest comebacks I've ever been a part of. And I was so happy to be a part of. And it just it was crazy how they had to listen in and everything. That was fun. And then we were up 2-1. Then we went to retail hard point. At one point, we're down by 100 points. And me and John turned up. I mean, we all turned up. And we just won that map, and we ended up winning 3-1, which was a crazy series. Probably one of the funnest matches I've ever had. Just the intensity, just, just the, the, the crazy stuff that were happening. It was just really, really fun. And then we played Optic Gaming, which you guys know, Winter Finals. Uh, I had a hell of a series. Uh, we just all played good. And we won 3-1, I believe. And we, the last map was a Scorch hard point. We won 3-1. So now we're in Grand Finals. We're feeling good. We're like, all right, we got this. We just beat Optic pretty bad. And, you know, where they have to beat us into best of fives or if LG makes it, you know, we're good. You know, we got this. And then they somehow beat LG 3-0, almost basically smoked them. And then they beat us in two best of fives. Um, some maps were pretty close. I know we took like a search and like a respawn. Well, oh, the first one I think was 3-1. The other one was, yeah, the was 3-0. But they beat us pretty bad. And, man, was I devastated. You know, I, I played my heart out. I tried my best. You know, I, I put like, this is this is not just gaming to me. This is not just a hobby. You know, this is not just people considered, you know, a job or whatever it is. Like, this is this is my life. Like, this is what I love to do. This is it for me. Like, winning is everything to me. You know, doing the being the best is everything to me. And to lose like that, you know, especially when we had, they had to win two best of fives and we really felt we had it in the bag and, you know, they just came out to play. They came out hot. We, we just weren't slaying. We just weren't getting kills, you know. You know, I mean, I'm not going to go too in-depth with it because you guys saw, most of you guys saw what happened. You know, just a bad performance. But, I mean, I was devastated. All I could remember is I knew as soon as they won, 
the crowd was cheering, you know, they were going up. I didn't want to look at them. I just stared straight at my monitor. I had the soundproof headphones on. I just kept them on because they helped me sort of just zone away from everything. And I was just in complete disbelief. Some would say I was in shock because I was in shock that that just happened. I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I felt like you ever know when you're so mad and so upset to a point where you just you just don't do anything like you're mind blown, like you just don't react like that's how bad it was. But I mean, they deserved it. You know, hell of a team uh, that came to play and they beat us. So we got second of champs, you know, honestly, when you outweigh the goods and the bads, like we shouldn't have been there. We shouldn't have been a team technically. We we're we we're like inches away of breaking up, centimeters away from breaking up. We stuck together. We got two second place finishes. Uh we finished, I wouldn't say strong, but definitely better than we what we were doing. And you know, we did go from top twenty four to second place. So I mean, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to I guess be kind of happy about in a way. But you know, losing I hate losing with a passion and I love winning. And to be so close twice and to not do it, it just, it really sucks. It like really sucks. And people always tell me, well, you won a lot of money, you know, you did your best and you did good. And, you know, I really appreciate all the kind of words like you guys tell me and everything. Like it does help me and it does cheer me up. But at the end of the day, like so much more comes from winning. And on top of that, like I'm not even talking about the money or you know, the bonuses or whatever, like whatever comes with sponsors, whatever, like any of that. I'm more so talking about like, like we put our, our whole life into this. We put our time to this. I can't say the same for some players, but I think most of the players would agree that, you know, I play 10 hours, eight to 10 hours a day. I'm constantly trying hard. You know, I'm constantly trying to improve. I'm constantly trying to be the best and it's not easy. And we put our, like our hearts and our life into this. And, you know, just to come up short like that, it just really sucks. But, you know, it's time to move on. Infinite Warfare is done. World War II is coming out. Looks like a great game. I haven't played it yet, but I will be damn well be playing it. I'll be damn, I can't even speak, be playing the beta. Um, thank you for all the support and for the love. This or the last weekend at Champs, you guys were amazing, you know, on Twitter, in person, everything. Met a lot of you guys. It was awesome. And I do apologize. Uh, once we lost, I did walk out to the front. I would meet up with my family and my wife, my friends and everything. And we were going to head out. You know, I was obviously extremely upset that we lost. And a couple of people came up to me for pictures and stuff. And, you know, I, I did say yes to a couple of people. But then I saw like a crowd of 30 to 40 people heading towards me, like sort of turning around. And I was just like, uh, I'm not going to do that, man. I'm not in the mood at all. And I'm not just going to sit there, you know, especially with my family. Like they want to go and they want to eat and they're probably they're probably starving and tired. So I was, I just, it wasn't going to happen. And I, you know, I kind of told everyone like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. So I felt kind of bad doing that, but it was just one of those times, but I did meet a lot of you guys. I took a whole lot of pictures with you guys. It was nice seeing you all, you know, hopefully the few, what the future holds is going to be amazing, but I'm, I'm so excited and ready to do big things in world war two. You know, um, I'm not starting slow this time. I'm coming out hot, coming out with the fire. And you go know me, baby. But before I go, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's sort of a long video is just come three months, you know, it's piled into one video and just a whole bunch of events piled to one video. I tried to summarize everything really quickly. And, you know, I don't know if I plan on uploading often. I do want to continue to do YouTube again. I'm close to 100K as well, which is awesome. Obviously, I haven't been uploading, but I do want to continue to do YouTube again. Uh, I'll probably be posting videos here and there. I'll try to do maybe a couple videos a week you know, two to three videos a week or so, something like that, just get it started. I think once World War II comes out is really when I'm going to start posting more videos again. But until then, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I do plan on streaming a lot. So you guys could check me out at twitch.tv slash apathy. A lot of you guys know my stream already, but if you want to come hang out or just say hi, you know, I should be streaming a little bit more again. So hope you all have a good day. Thank you for watching the video. And until next time, pals.